I needed more time. My PS3 wasn't finished on uh, loading. Hey, welcome. Hey, how's everybody doing? Oh man, we just watched this crazy movie. If you didn't, if you didn't watch it with us, you should probably find it. It's called uh, Vampire's Kiss, starring Nicolas Cage, and um, I feel like I feel like my world has been changed. It's been flipped upside down. Not as upside down as his, but you know, that's not the point. How's everybody doing? Oh. Seriously, seriously, the movie was crazy. And you know they don't they don't leave it ambiguous, which I think could have been a really interesting uh, change if they if they just kind of left it up to the viewer to decide whether or not um, he was a vampire. But but none of that was left to the imagination. You just get to watch Nicolas Cage go fucking ape shit. And it's beautiful. It's been a long day, and I'm still sick. Yeah, which was cool. And, like, the teeth, that was crazy. Hi, Kate. How are you? Oh, you know, I guess what would have been an interesting um, change is if he thought it was, like, a, you know, if, if maybe there was a Chinese vampire... I am a little bit bigger. I changed the in I increased the resolution of my camera so that I could uh crop the sides of my um video a little bit more. Because the uh whoa. Actually I'm just noticing that there's like a weird shadow on the side. Because the green screen Oh no, that's in the game. Interesting. The green screen is a little bit smaller than my old green screen. Yes, I'm a little bit bigger. I wish it was a little bit taller. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about being a little bit bigger, but we'll try it out for a little bit. If I don't like it, I'll make myself small. I was looking at some old video, and it was getting kind of rough. A little rough and tumble there. I wasn't smart enough to put contacts in, or colored contacts in, to maintain my image. Hey, buddy. to see all my crazy facial expressions while I try to figure out how the fuck to use these controls again. It's the enemy. Send reinforcements. This is HQ. Control here. Use your beacon now. Enemy position unknown. Don't get to high alert. Acknowledge. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Oh, that didn't go so well. I just, like, I always have my mind blown whenever whenever I watch people play this game because they're so good at it. Obviously you shot these guys in the foot. Huh? Just my imagination. 
dude. What's wrong, you sissy? Where are you? Don't wake up your friend. It's gonna be an endless cycle of them waking each other up. It's gonna be beautiful. What's wrong? Stop it. No! No! What's wrong? What's wrong? There we go. Cycle broken. Oh, that was such a waste. Why why'd you lose 20 tranquilizer, Snake? I don't wanna talk about it. Well, at least I got it back. I forgot I have a sniper rifle. Whoops. Sorry, friend. Freeze. Don't shoot me, please. <laughs> okay, well, that works. It's a shame I'm wasting the silencer. Okay, well, I would normally check what these trophies are, but uh, this game, well, the PlayStation 3 sucks. I know the PS3 fans out there are going to be upset about me saying that, but uh, trophies, like, if you click the trophy button, it should be, it just should just show up, right? Like, Hey, this is this is what you earned. No, it takes like ten minutes to resync your trophies. I'm gonna make that my ringtone at work. Why did I come here? What is your purpose? What is my purpose? You pass butter. Yeah, I'm pretty blind. Calorie mates, though. What's up, Cap? I mean, hey, good luck, Cap. Que paso? Oh, it's not a command. I'm I'm just blind. Sorry, I didn't. I don't have a bot set up for anything except to tell me when people follow. Cause I'm lazy. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. I appreciate it. Should probably. Um, we need to send Gonzo all the luck though, because Gonzo, man, that's rough. I didn't get to see everything, but um, but my wife was. Uh, she sent me a message on Facebook. She's like, "Did you see what happened to Gonzo's run?" And I was like, "No." Did you clip it? She didn't clip it in time. I keep hitting the wrong damn button. This is unbelievable. It's not like it's difficult. Okay, same place, cool. This feels really important, right? Like, why did this exist? Gonzo, um, he got hit by lightning. That happened at the beginning of our movie. You know what, Zero? It's been like a week. You need to tell me where the hell I'm going. Have you been contacted by Eva? Yeah. She said ah, we'd meet up in the ruins the at the top of the mountains. She also said she picked up the key to get into the tunnel that leads to Groznygrad. Good. Hurry to the rendezvous. I lived in the Eva. house that Head Jack built. How 
How do we get to the mountains? So this led nowhere. This was just... Okay, cool. That's fine. I'm not hurt. I'm not upset. It's fine. We're just, um... We're just playing games. Yeah, he got hit by lightning. Rip Gonzo. Nobody here with us chickens. Well, at least we saw you. Sounds like you're coming from the left. But then. What's wrong? There we go. There we go. Kuwabara, Kuwabara. Excuse me while I'm going to stand in the middle of everywhere and check my map. Hey, this looks like a good direction to go, actually. I avoided that trap by luck. Okay, we're going south. I thought I was going north, but that's fine. I have no sense of direction at all. Hit my microphone. It's all good. It's all good. We're not we're not losing our shit at all. Oh, I have to take out eight and ah, I see. This is the the battle she was warning me about, the, the ambush. Okay. Yeah. We're learning. We're learning. So if you're just catching up and you weren't here for the previous episodes, um, I killed the end way before I was supposed to kill the end. The only downside of that is I have to fight a bunch of Spetsnaz from the Ocelot unit. Actually, why am I doing this hard way? I've got thermal goggles. Ah, that's a sniper scope. I'm going to get a cold, aren't I? Just had to be raining.
I see the glint. I see the glint. It's right there. He's displacing quite a bit. So I'm using my 85% camouflage, which at this point is like cheating. Let's see if I can get a clear shot. Snake is using his crazy abs to help him levitate. Where the hell is that coming from? ran out of, well, did run out of suppressor at the wrong time, but it almost cost me my life, my health. Okay, well, we've got We got one dead, one dead. So we got two to go. That guy totally should have spotted me. One to go. There might be more than these eight. I like the fog effect, that's cute. That's really cute. Pinocchio. Ah, TNT. We're going to use that. I don't have any taken out. Okay. I've always wanted to blow one of these up. Apparently, you get an achievement for it. Um, Octopus, thank you for the host, sir, and welcome. Hope you're doing well. You know, I was just thinking that maybe blowing that up might draw his attention. How about that? How about that? Where did you come from? Hey, you do get a, tro a trophy for that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Snake, you're leaving this. Okay, you know what? If I'm not going to be able to catch me outside. How about that? 
dispose. Also dispose. I forgot that the game actually counts the time. Yeah. So if you spend time outside of the game, it actually counts those days. Uh. I didn't know that was a thing. And that is everyone. So we can move toward the mountain. God, is that is there something I can cure? It is. Use the antidote. How about that? How about that? Oh, okay. We are going north. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. There's more. I see. I see. I probably should have just snuck through. Sneaked through, if you will. the trees. Forgot to put in a suppressor on. That's not good. That might get me killed. Snake. Last sniper guy is left. Well, you know, just because you eat something that's venomous, I guess, not necessarily poisonous, um, doesn't necessarily mean that it's poisonous. But yes, the external of the frog is poisonous normally, so I should have known better. But I was curious. I didn't die, which is nice. You probably have a bullet wound or two. Although, you know, for being poisonous, I bet they're tasty.
There's a cave over there. That doesn't look like a natural formation. Okay. We'll do a little bit of exploring first. It's fine. One right there. The enemy's here. That didn't kill you? Sir, could you die, please? So I get this problem with Metal Gear Solid 3. It is way too fun. Actually, Metal Gear or anything. It's way too fun to kill people. Which is kind of a fucked up thing to say. If you really think about it. I try not to. Shit, I'm out of ammo. That is a thing. Part of the immersion, yeah. Okay, well, um... You know what, that could be fun. Let's talk about immersion here for a second and then realize that I just pulled out a machine gun. Yeah, that's the sound of snake, by the way, screaming. Because that's how you do that, like Rambo style. The M63 at your hip. Screaming. I 
guess preferably out of the side of your mouth. Ah. Now that we've taken that little detour, I'm pretty sure all we have to do is take that man-made tunnel, which is up in the corner of this map. It makes more sense if you take this view. Not enough sense, because I don't know where the map borders are. I could probably complain. I don't know. I bet Snake is pretty good. Like, I mean, yeah, they probably all taste a little different, but uh, as a general meal, Snake is probably pretty tasty. That alligator. Alligator's pretty tasty. I would eat alligator again. Guys, you know what this is, right? He's, he's got it in a cage that's sitting in his pocket. <laughs> Guys, it's the scene. Guys. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is like super bad for your um, stamina. So I remember the first time I played this game and encountering that was so weird. That's tasty. And I was angry. I was angry. I don't think you can slide. I'll jump. I would jump. Saving the game, Snake? But the, uh, the ladder starts going, and I, I don't... I don't understand why the ladder is a scene. I legit don't understand. We've already, we've already seen that. Let's see. Can I slide? Nope, but I can let go. Can I let go? Um, no. Letting go is not the habit, but... 
Really? You're not gonna let me jump? There we go. So that's possible. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I don't wanna do it again. I thought you could let go. Well, it changes things a little bit for me. But it was so weird. Like, so there, there's just like this break. And obviously, the reason they needed a ladder this tall is because they needed to make up the difference between the mountain and, and wherever it is that you are. Because they want the map to physically make sense. It's part of what, what realism they're trying to create in the world. Hey, 100 bits from Orctopus. Thank you, sir. All right, Jerry. Have, have an enjoyable, moist night in bed, sir. Ah, you're totally meant to be nude. Lewd, nude. I mean, um, yeah. Uh, so, I... It, it would have made sense to just walk up the ladder, like, make the, make the tunnel part of the previous map and then make the walk up the ladder just a quick cutscene or something um but for some reason they make you walk all the way up it why why and then like obviously they they wanted to do something with the time so they play the acapella yep the a cappella vocal track. And you just look down it, and I don't... I don't get it. I... Like, the best, the best explanation I have is, it's Kojima. And nobody else would have gotten away with it, but we let him get away with it, and we still love it, and I still love it, even though I don't get it, I still love it. But the thing is, that wasn't a load. Like, they loaded a scene specifically to force you up the ladder. I, If it was a loading thing, there are other ways to do it. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Mm. More snakes. Ooh, that's not good. That's a smoke grenade. Yep. Snake, why did we pull out the smoke grenade? Aim straight because Snake is hungry. It's alright, buddy. We got a giant anaconda and a Thai Cobra. Not too bad. Ha, ah, I see what you did there. I, I like the ladder scene. As stupid as it is and as pointless as I mean, I'm obviously railing on it because from an editorial standpoint, it makes no sense. And until you've got one, thank you for the follow, sir, and welcome to Deep Space Expendable, where we love long ladder climbs. And Hideo Kojima. Kojima, Kojima Hideo san. Wrong. That guy's got a fucking rocket launcher. See, my bot is just. Bot is just bot. He's just catching up now. <laughs> I like long ladder kind of climbs and walks on the beach. For dinner, we'll kill a snake. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to climb up that. But 
I thought I would check. Ain't no woman like the one I got. You guys, if I ever find the money and, uh, and the effort to purchase a suppressor, you better believe I'm going to live stream that. Okay, no useful ammo from the Peanuts Gallery. We'll keep going and... What is that? Medicine. Okay. Keep going. Thought I was full. Yeah, I am full. Appropriate camouflage for this. I don't. Oh, actually, I do. That's good enough. I'll take it. Give my life. Come on, snake, stand up. Stand up and be counted. Scorpion. Yeah. Not even in a game they're creepy. Get it, you're a helicopter. Oh. Can't complain. Now, you don't have to kill the helicopter, but I think we're going to kill the helicopter. Especially if it's going to keep swarming around like this. Colonel. We managed to keep from drowning.
So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the coward's way out and hide. I was hoping he'd fall off. Oh, he turned around. Oh, come on. There you go. Oh, he fell back. He fell forward. CQC's kick. Oh, I love killing them all. Like I said, I, even though the controls are not agreeable to me, I love them. I love the murder. Oh, dude, that's the worst. And you know what? I uh, I, I played through um, played through Metal Gear Solid Four, uh, trying to get the big boss medal. And how many times you kill accidentally kill people in that game is ridiculous. Exactly where I am. Oh, shit. I might have gotten myself in trouble just because I wanted to kill that helicopter.
Snake, I need you to focus up here. Yeah, we're doing uh, we're doing the room next week. So don't fret. There's always next time. I knew we were gonna kill you. I knew it. Okay, well, I feel a little uh, satisfied now. It sounds like, it sounds like we have another helicopter. We just got an RPG. Yep. Loon asking the tough questions. What the? Oh, we lost the other helicopter. Fuck me. Okay. What's going on out there? Oh, he's back. I'm actually excited. Terrible. I shouldn't have made that shot at all. Okay. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, that's not good. Uh, golden poop is a uh, it's a pretty tough subject. You know, some people don't have poop.
firing on RPGs in indoor, from indoors is a bad idea. And I don't recommend that you do it. So don't try this at home, kids. Well, fuck me. Golden poop. Can't believe that came up. Never mind, I can't believe that came up. Some rest. I'll be fine. It's just that playing these two roles hasn't left me much time to sleep. Where'd you get those cuts? The Colonel. Mm -hmm. He found out? If he knew, I'd be dead already. No, this is his hobby. He's a sadist. He gets pleasure out of making people suffer. He's scum. Look that strange to you? No. I'm the same way. Scars all over. Can I see? No. <laughs> Where'd you get this one? I got it after defecting to the Soviet Union. I don't think so. It's older than that. Code breaking is a desk job. Lisa was Where'd very, this very interesting. Scar? You really want to know? <clears throat> I like the means of transportation well, too. too. Bad. A girl's got to have some secrets, you know. But enough about that. You've got to get going. The phase two trial of the Shagohat is about to start, and it looks like someone might be coming to spoil the party. Khrushchev? His forces are on their way here. The colonel is gathering his troops together to meet them. If we don't get a move on, the security will be even tighter than it is now. You'll need this key. It unlocks the door to the underground tunnel. Once you're in there, you can follow the tunnel to get inside Groznygrad. And take this too. What is it? The food of the future. A well-balanced meal for the space age. It's good to eat some real food once in a while. Obviously Gonzo's in a cutscene. What's up, brah? Mm. Brah. I'll bet if I kissed you... You taste like a wild beast. Do you know where exactly in Groznygrad Sokolov is located? He's in the heart of the fortress, the weapons lab. Hey, he's real fool to me. The weapons lab is divided into three wings. There's the east wing, which houses the research facilities. Then there's the main wing where the weapons are assembled. That's where the Shagohat is. Finally, there's the west wing, which is connected via a passageway to the main building. It will That's be. I, so this is the second, the first, the first time I've played this game since the game came the main out. Wing from the east wing. Then go through the passageway on the second floor of the main wing. The west wing of the weapons lab. Got it. I didn't get there's it. There's just one problem. Not again. The west wing is protected by the highest level of security. You need to be colonel class to get in. Colonel class. Here, 
Look at this picture. Major Ivan Raiden in a tricop. Pretend you're him. How do I do that? You need to be Colonel Class, so impersonate a Major. Steal his clothes. You look similar from behind, they won't know the difference. Your face might be a problem, so you just have to figure something out. He should be somewhere in the East Wing. All right. But how am I supposed to escape once I get Sokolov out of there? Command said you're supposed to have something ready for me. And I do. There's a lake 30 miles north of here. I hid a wig there. A wig? It's a state-of-the-art ground We're back to vehicle. asking questions for everything. A ground effect vehicle? God! I can't fly one of those. That's okay. I happen to be an excellent pilot. Taking off from a lake is trickier than it looks. It's not like riding a motorcycle. You've got to be more delicate. Of course I will. You've seen how good I am with the bike, right? You handle the escape then. I'll head for Groznygrad. Wait a minute. Metal gear. There's something I wanted to ask. Alcohol. You. What? What's the story between you and the boss? She was like a mother and my master. And your lover? It went deeper than that. That's out Deeper? Guy. Turn it up. Half of me belongs to the boss. Do you love her? No, nothing like that. Do you hate her? Does it have to be one or the other? Love or hate? Between a man and a woman? You bet. For ten years, we lived and died together. You couldn't possibly understand. And you think you can kill her now? <sighs> Don't question his resolve. Assassinating the boss? Snake? Is there anyone you like? Someone <laughs> special? Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in other people's lives. I love that callback. It's you were interested in the boss. She was different. Really? How do you feel about me? Don't I should be asking you the same question. Me? I can fall in love if it's part of the mission. Snake, don't you want me? Even with you. <sighs> Snake? <laughs> He's just not responding. It's beautiful. He's like, he's like a kid, he's like a kid from a, a really Christian family. Super uncomfortable. He's like high school. You might have met one or two of them. He's just. It's just too good. See you around, Snake. Take care of yourself. What about you? I've got to hurry back and play my other part. Are you going to be okay? Not sure. They're not stupid, and they know there's a spy. There's no way you could have gotten this far all by yourself. Ouch. I mean, you're right, but ouch. <laughs> Physics! That's Tuna's favorite thing. She goes all E.T. with that damn motorcycle. OK. 
Okay, we're actually going to make it an attempt at stealth here. I can't promise it's going to go well. But we're going to give it a shot. Yeah. before I could get it out of him. Was it the spy then? Look at this. The Take a look at exactly. this. Planted to keep someone informed of his location. It's blood. <laughs> This mean Granin was the spy? Perhaps he was being used by someone else. Perhaps. But this man was our comrade. Comrade or not, he's of no use to us now. I don't approve of your methods. I don't need your approval. I'm in command here. And that nuclear shell? Still feeling sore about that, are you? What are you going to do? Report it to the authorities? This is war, Major. The Cold War. Fought with information and espionage. We must root out spies wherever they hide. It must be nice to have cheekbones. It is kill or be killed. Potential threats must be weeded out. Yeah, we'll see about codec calls. I, you know, I generally avoid the codec because it's like Someone eight extra hours of content. Hand. A single man can only accomplish so much. Make no mistake, what there about is a, a married spy man? among us. We're casting suspicion on our own comrades. The C3 explosives have been stolen. You think it was the American? No. He could not have reached this fortress yet. Then who? Chicks forever. I'd be careful about suspecting your own men. Boss. Where have you been? The fear and the end have fallen. Damn it. See you later, Octopus. Thanks for stopping by. That leaves only the fury. How can the legendary Cobras be beaten so easily? And thanks again for the bits. He's Forgot good. about that. Fallen for him. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. What is he after? Must be more than just Sokolov. America is out to destroy the Shagrahat and get its hands on your inheritance. The philosopher's legacy. Huh? Impossible. The legacy, it... Then they're out to kill me as well. Colonel, tighten the security on this place. He's coming here, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get the Davy Crockett. Is that why you wear that mustache? Try to get away from the baby face. Because he wanted to be a cop. 
make sure you polish them up properly. So let's make some calls. You've got the key from Eva. Now use it to enter the underground tunnel. The great fortress of Groznygrad is at the end of that tunnel. The door to the underground tunnel is in the summit area. Hurry. Thought there'd be more than that. It looks like you can get a nice panoramic view of Groznygrad from there. Perhaps you should scout it out now while you can. Just don't do anything too conspicuous. Remember that the attack chopper is still on patrol. Major, I saw that Tatiana woman again. Hmm, we've been analyzing our data, but so far we've been unable to find anyone matching that description. Maybe her posting was so obscure that we simply overlooked it. Or maybe she's such a VIP that all the data on her has been classified. That's a possibility, but I'd be tempted to go with the first explanation. We'll keep going over the data. Thanks. I think there's one more. Snake, let's go over the... Uh, nope. You got some instant noodle. Yo! you Snake, Oh, yeah. We haven't and your actually gone with Sigan. Another. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Close. Um... I am the expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting edge technology. Uh. I'm the guy that designed your trank gun, active sonar, and motion detector. If you want to know anything about weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. Sounds like the Cobra unit's members' names can You say Granin's shoes were rigged with a transmitter? That sounds like something the KGB's been working on lately. It's exactly like you described. A miniature transmitter that's small enough to put in a shoe. Granin said he got the shoes from a woman called Tatiana. You think she's a KGB spy? Could be. Or maybe it's some kind of ploy to throw suspicion on me. Hmm. Anyway, it's your job to find out. Good point. <laughs> anyway, Snake, go, go do Sit your it. job. Yo! Eva said she set up a ground effect vehicle for us to make our escape. So I heard. The ground effect vehicle, or WIG, is something like a cross between an airplane and a boat. It uses ground effect to fly. Ground effect basically means that when the craft skims the surface of the ground, the air between the ground and the wing is compressed, which gives the wing an extra boost. From what Western intelligence agencies have been able to gather, the Russians are pretty serious about developing these WIGs. Apparently, they're planning on using them for anti-submarine patrols. I guess I can see why. The WIG's long cruising range and high-speed capabilities make it a good choice for that kind of mission. Eva must have gotten her hands on one of the first prototypes while it was being field-tested as a transport craft. The WIG has a top speed of over 400 miles per hour, and its range is pretty good, too. Not that speed is going to help you if you've got a supersonic fighter jet on your tail, but if you hug the surface and stay off the radar, you should have no problems getting away. The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear warheads. He forgot to do his accent. They're for named that one. after Davy Crockett, the hero who died defending the Alamo in the Texan War of Independence. Remember the Alamo. That's right. The warheads are equivalent to between 10 and 20 tons of TNT. Every building within 150 yards of the hypocenter is completely obliterated. 
but the warheads the boss had with her were some kind of experimental super bomb. So they're actually even more powerful than that. I don't even want to think about what happened if she used it again. Snake, you know what you have to do. I played um yeah. I played this game when it came I out. Know. And then I bought this like I bought the collection when it came out. And that's it. Cuz I uh Reordered and everything. Doesn't look like I should jump. But I mean, it would be a fun idea. Yeah, I, I don't really remember anything. That's why I'm calling it blind. Oh, oh. Noodles. You've got my attention. See T Moniacos. T Moniacos. T Moniacos. I'm gonna go with that. Thanks for the thanks for the follow. Welcome to Deep Space Expendable. Um, I have no sense of stealth. Nothing clever, that's all I've got to say. Jira. You know, they're they're probably not that bad. I I know I'm terrible. I've had such a trouble, such trouble, such a trouble with the controls in this game. It's just it's tough after having played uh, played as much um, four and five. This is probably not the direction I wanted to go. Is this the only direction to go? Damn. It is. Though that X is suddenly tempting. Perfect. Oh 
always forget about what the original camera angles look like, so I kind of try to reorient it my, myself to that every once in a while to see if I remember anything. And the answer is no, no, I don't. I don't remember shit. I do. both. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm going to change my weapon, though. Looks like I finally have AK-47 ammo again, which is fine, because I don't have any M63 ammo left. Try to do that. See, I'm glad you're here. Because I wouldn't know any of those things. Oh, that looks weird. There's a cutscene. Fury! The flames of my rage will incinerate you. I came back from space. Do you think people actually say this? As I returned, I had one vision. The world set ablaze. And do you know what I saw there? Fury! Show yourself. Take my fury. Feel the burning rage. I forgot how bad the fire effects were. Rats, I'm sorry. No, for a PS2 game, That's it was great. Damn good. I just, like, I was really disappointed with the, uh, the, the job they did for the remaster. You know, it, 
it's a game that I think deserved a lot more love than this. Where'd you go? But probably one of the best looking PS2 games, if not the best looking PS2 game. Yeah, I just have a really bad time with uh, orientation, so it's... I never know what to do. Oh, shit. So, hey, Enzo, how's it going? I just killed myself. Not in a good way. Is there a good way? Whatever it is, it wasn't that way. Yeah. Not on purpose. I won't lie to you. It wasn't on purpose. It's a blue back skill. <laughs> How often do you get to say, sorry, you killed yourself? Hopefully not as often. Ah, uh, no. Hopefully not as often as you would say it on my stream. like this. I, I really enjoy killing. That sounds bad. The game makes killing fun. Like, how cool is this idea of a character? Uh, you'd never see this in... Fuck me. You'd never see this in any other game. Um, because the Fury... Like, he... He's an astronaut. Let's 
try that. I'll make it a combo. Question, where are you? That didn't do anything. Good to know. I shoot Fenris. I should have run. I didn't run, but I should have. I know how you feel. Uh, yes, I am playing a normal. So no, there is no excuse. I'm just bad. It's basically uh, me fighting with the game, fighting with the controls. I shot him. I shot him way, way earlier. That damn good. Sweet. Way, way earlier. Because, oh. you know, I've never done that before. I went through the whole sniper battle the first time. Ah, over there. Looks like I'm going to die again. I'm going to die again. Napalm's a bitch. Hey, we did it. Yeah, I get to discover stuff. And I think, you know, uh, so the whole plan here is to finish this game by uh, by the weekend. And then this I'm hoping the that by Monday we're going to hit MGS4. And then I think I'm going to go back to MGS1. One and oh. kind of, um... To join the and then kind of, um... See if we can approve upon that. The flames of fury. The fires of hell will purge me free. I can see it. Mission control. Do you read me? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. You know, even even today, it's a it's a hell of a game. It's impressive. The 
design. Cutscenes are a little overbearing, but the design is just incredible. One, two, three, thanks for the following. Welcome to Deep Space Expendable, where we're full of the fury. And, um, wandering around, not knowing what the hell we're doing. See? Ladder. Ladder. Cutscene. Cutscene. Ladder. Yeah, that, that cutscene is a little rough. It just, you know, some of them just kind of keep going. So this is going to be interesting. Let's see if I can... Stealth. See, if there's one thing I need to improve on in the Metal Gear s series, it's the stealth th thing. I just don't have a brain for it. When I did MGS4 for the uh, big boss runs, it was pretty much just memorizing everything over and over again. I will probably play MGS5 later. I just don't see it as part of the canon. It's really difficult for me uh, to kind of wrap my brain around that. It's a fun game. Like, uh, from, a, from a gameplay perspective, the game is phenomenal. Um, but just to kind of put it into context with the rest of the game series, I just I have a hard time with it. So I don't, I don't really feel any connection to playing those games at the same time. That is not a tranquilizer pistol, that's a real pistol. I'm sure everybody's watched the, um, oh, what is the name of that? Those guys do the Let's Plays. Like the 100% runs of everything. Um, Twitch. Uh, OHN. Uh, Kojima is crazy. He is a game designer who... Um, who asked the question, why can't we do something? And, uh, and every time he got an excuse, he decided that he pushed further than it wasn't okay with him to say okay that's good enough we'll do our best it was he, he, w he wanted to really make a good effort at uh, everything he wanted to do which is why MGS5 was so late and uh, why some of the games are kind of unplayable and why the cutscenes are sometimes two hours long So is he a genius? I, I don't know. I think I think we've all had that moment where we saw something, or maybe it was maybe for us it was a game thing, um, where you saw a game design thing. And you said, "Wow, that's amazing!" I think it would be amazing to have this in a game. And Kojima's real crime is for saying, "I want to have all of the things." And it is a crime because in in the gaming industry, it's uh, it's business before art. Can't continue to sell your art unless um, 
unless you can make a business out of it. And so far, you've been able to make a business out of it. But it didn't make business. MGS5 didn't make business sense. There were, there were two sides of the coin in that. Obviously, uh, Konami's a bunch of assholes. They don't care about gaming anymore, and that's absolutely true. But uh, Kojima is not completely innocent either. Dude, I'm standing right here. Yeah, Death Stranding will be interesting. I predict Death Stranding will be beautiful. And, um... Uh, it will be beautiful and nearly unplayable. It'll be just either too much or too little to do. And we'll be so wrapped up in cutscenes for all the rest of it. Um, it's probably going to be a beautiful story. He's a beautiful storyteller. I hope it makes money. I hope he continues to get to do the things that he does so well. But um, I don't think I can call these games. Like, MGS3 is a game. MGS4. I don't know if we can really call that a game. MGS5 is definitely a game. Yeah, I think I think his blurring that reality is kind of change things for him. Oh yeah, fourth wall breaks. I love it when they do fourth wall breaks well. You know, it's not enough to just uh, remind me that I'm playing a game. You need to... Well, like if you've played Doki Doki, Doki Literature Club, and I have, uh, a, fourth, a good fourth wall break doesn't just remind you that you're playing the game. It has a, a purpose beyond just, hey, don't forget, we're being clever. It's, um, it's story-driven. And he was able to do that with Metal Gear quite a bit. Virtual mission. Hey. Uh, Death Stranding, I feel like that's... If, if he starts doing fourth wall breaks like crazy, and if they're not story-driven fourth wall breaks... Then, um, then I'm I'm concerned about that game because I feel like uh, a good fourth wall break has everything to do with. Did I move back? Oh, black. Has everything to do with um, more black splitter splinter. With telling a story, you can't just you can't just break fourth wall. This is what I'm trying to say. Wow, did I shoot between his legs? No, I got it. Okay. Yeah. And you know, sometimes Sometimes it makes sense, like uh, when they're when they're talking about the Kodak, and they're like, "Press the select button." Okay, well, yeah. Shit. What? It took me no time at all to get spotted. I was trying so hard.
Yeah, that was insane. And see, that was a story-driven fourth, fourth wall break. It does nothing to serve the story per chance, but it makes Psycho Mantis real for you. And that's, that's one of those things that um, I think Kojima really kept in mind. Yeah, well, I think it, I think it serves a story to serve a character. Um, it's one of those things that Kojima kept in mind, that what is the threat of somebody who is psychic to somebody who's playing a game? Obviously, he can't read your mind. But then for him to read your memory card, I mean, obviously, he's reading your memory card. You're not, you're not confused about what he's doing. He's like, you like Castlevania games? Like, yeah, I do. I mean, way to read my memory card. That's cool. Nobody's done that yet. The Hideo blackout scared the shit out of me. I was like, no! Oh, oh. And then, you know, to have that kind of return for um, Eternal Darkness was, uh, was great. But again, these are fourth wall breaks to serve the story. Yeah, Konami games. Uh, if you played the Twin Snakes on GameCube, you make comments on the Mario games. Liked I you know what I liked Twin Snakes on the GameCube, um, if not for the cutscenes. Somebody at Silicon Knights said, uh, "said Hey, you know what's stupid? Let's not uh, let's not make everybody go back all to get the key cards and, and finish all that shit." And I said, "Okay, yeah, that's a good idea." And so they did that, and that was a great great decision. Yeah, I was worried about you were worried about like maybe your your TV broke or your PlayStation broke or something. Because at that point, I don't like. I still have my original 1001 PlayStation, and that's what I played Metal Gear on. And uh, and yeah, I, all my friends had problems with their um, with their drives not reading over time, and I never got that problem, thankfully. So yeah, when you see that, you you legit worry about what happened to your PlayStation. Chocolate chip. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, 
Just gonna let me get away with that, huh? We've lost sight of the enemy. He's definitely here somewhere. Flush him out. Major! Major, what happened here? Fine. Nobody's concerned about me. The weird scientist with the banana bandana. The freakishly blue eyes. I did not know that. See, can I grab it? Oh, there you go. Well, now he's shooting at me. So that you got to see that it is a thing. I forgot about the sick gas spray. Guessing I have to wait until caution's rep done. Guards walk up and they're like, hey, there's no smoking in here.
Apparently they haven't run into that one guard yet. He's about to wake up, actually. Gas him before that. Yes, I can. Interesting. Interesting. Not good. Didn't mean to go there. Go back. Okay, so everybody's still asleep. Any lockers? Anything in the lockers? So these are scientists, huh? Just took the. Oh my god, that's beautiful. See, there's shit like that where they're like, hey, um, <laughs> what do we do? Uh, let's make him push the glasses up. Why is that there? I don't know. That was something they had to work to put in. Yeah, I gotta drag him up the stairs. But I wanted to check this out first. Oh, look. People. What is this? Okay. Yeah, you can knock the lockers off, but they never have anything in them. Do they? Yeah. All right, let's go get the major. Don't copy that floppy. say this is actually probably easier in the MGS3 camera so we're gonna switch over and yeah, we did although given the control stream the screen control scheme that was actually pretty difficult it was like it wasn't enough that people hate Bryden we gotta drag him up here and 
make sure he bumps his head against the stairs. I didn't hate Raiden, he was just inept. Colonel, we had, we managed to keep from drowning. And it's like, uh, they didn't like him either. I got what they were trying to do. I thought it was pretty interesting. It's quite a banana hammock he's got going on there. And then Raiden goes on to being, like, you know, the coolest side character in the whole game. Series. You're not the major. Oh, that's just weird. You look the same from behind, except you've got that really fucked up walk. Look at this. I get it. It's a tactical walk, but could you could you walk like a person for a minute? Nope. Apparently not. Can't walk like a normal human being. Snake. I'm really bad at that sensitivity thing. Sir. You can count on me. What about the philosopher's legacy? Hey, monkey farts, what's going on, bro? That. What are you? Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> no one but the colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't. Oh, my day is going. I've been sick the last couple of days. Probably, look, yep. Yep, I look like shit. I look like hammered shit. I've got the, f I've had the flu. <laughs> well, to be honest with you, whenever a woman put lipstick on in front of me, it usually was a bad thing. Who's there? You're the man from the CIA. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. Hm. A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me, the Shagahods. Hm. Exactly. The final preparations for phase two are complete. Well, he's not useful useful so for anything, so we should just kill him now. Phase two. To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium-range ballistic missiles. 
I never paid attention before, but his monocle is tethered to his ear. Like it's the Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. So the physics of this... That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how do you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it? In phase two, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. I don't think this works out. That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Any physics geniuses out there want to do this? The Shagohod, there's no do need this math. to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress, capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. Well, yeah, but that's... Volkin is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohod as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a cold war is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohod goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end, and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohod will be at the center of it all. So you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've well, still got I mean, a chance. All we have to do he is means destroy it's the not prototype too late. and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. I can but see Snake is not the only one who does the stupid do question asking. This place. <laughs> All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow. Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3... You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Volkin's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh, no. 
She is Volgin's lover. This is my lover. Who are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. <sighs> no, I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me, Sokolov! Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the Gulags. What about the U.S.? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there. But even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapon scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. The tools of politicians. He seems to be taking it pretty hard. All I wanted to do oh God. was build space rockets. But it was not to be. The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. Watch over my family. Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. <laughs> Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. This fairy disguise. It's gonna rub off on you. And then you'll lose sight of who you really are. They can gay fun of gay people. 
Is that what we're doing now? Stay out of this. I see why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. She's clearly Splendid. better at it. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? Of course. But first, I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a pretty tough beating. I mean, even if you take the lightning out of the uh, factor. I've gotten my ass kicked a few times. In fact, my nose, uh, part of the reason I have issues breathing is it's been broken enough times that it's permanently shifted. I don't really have much cartilage or bone there to begin with. But my whole nose has been shifted slightly this way, and it's closed off one of my nostrils. More information than you'd ever want to know about me, but here we are. I mean, it's not like I didn't earn it. Tell me! Stop it! Who have you been talking to? He doesn't know what you're talking about. You'd better start talking. Please, stop it! Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? How can you do this to him? I know you gave the data to someone. I never did like you. that. No, I would never do that. Oh, he sounds pretty dead. He sounds, yep. Yep. I guess he's dead. Yep. Beautiful body you have, like a newborn baby. <laughs> but not for long. Well then, 
Let's get started. Press the circle button. What is your target? Is it the Shagohad? Or Sokolov? Or maybe it's the Legacy? Answer me! Who is helping you? Who let you in here? You're a tough one. But even you must have your limits. And I am a patient man. Was wondering if he was going to keep going. Here's where the fun really begins. My body carries an electric charge of 10 million volts. Let's see how you like this. I like the the bag. Answer me. It's a nice How much detail. Does the CIA know? They're after my legacy, aren't they? And you always want to get HR involved. Is the legacy, isn't it? It's no use. He's not going to talk. He's been trained not to break. Trained by me. Hmm. Admit it! We're after the location of the legacy! The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? One hundred billion dollars, divided up and hidden all over the world. And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? I was really glad for the plot dump, because, you know. No matter. The Philosopher's Legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. You'll never live. What's this? A transmitter? Who's responsible for this? I am. I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they knew where he was going to be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. It pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances, I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me. How do you prove a negative? That, but he is your apprentice. You can't prove a what negative. That's ridiculous. Let's see. Cut out his eyes. I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. Look how proud of himself he is. He's all yours. Do it! Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras.
Maybe because Jodie Foster is beautiful. So is the boss. Stop! What is it, Tanya? He's suffered enough. Well, well. Why are you protecting him? That smell. Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? I know that smell. Which he has named as perfume twice already. Stop it! Take a fancy to her, eh, Ocelot? No, I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. Really bad to do I'll to a revolver you shouldn't. Do as you like. Here we go. Satisfied now? <laughs> well, that was refreshing. <laughs> like Japanese food. Come, we're going to my room. It's so refreshing. Survive the Colonel's torture, eh? Watching this has made me realize something. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. <laughs> You got lucky this time, Tatiana. It's not locked. It's Nick. An escape route for us. Go out and head west. Go west, young man. The connecting passageway and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. You're quiet. Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. Yeah, you do. Eva. But I can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. <laughs> I'll be in touch. Oh, I need a like I need a whiteboard now to hold up. I'll get my cat to hold it up behind me.
Really? See, that's, that's why you're not a spy for the CIA. No, we're not going to be digging a hole with a fork. button. Snake, what are you doing with your leg? Snake is breathing with his leg. It's weird. Okay. I didn't mean to open the door. That's damn good. I should have waited. I should have, could have, would have. to escape? Yeah, I'm out. Be careful. In your present state, you're practically naked. You don't no. have a single decent weapon, and you'll never survive in a battle. Take some time and pull yourself together. Eva says she's recovered your equipment, so rendezvous with her as soon as possible to get your gear back. Use the escape route Eva set up for you. Go down into the sewers through the manhole in the northwest section of Groznygrad. Start out by exiting the holding cells and heading northwest.
Where's that? Shit. Ah, uh, why am I so bad? How's that for digging a hole with a fork? I don't I do my best but I don't have a bullet in me. Oh, it's a cut. Uh, wasn't that uh, Christina Ag Aguilera? Dirty, I think. Ring the alarm. And I'm throwing elbows. Those automatically. Is that what's happening here? Yep, it is. I'm eating a raw rat. Shit.
I feel like this is my death. Oh, this is even worse. I just came full circle. This is what I'm talking about with the controls. Oh, fuck this. Yeah, just, just kill me. It's fine. If I hadn't been so bad at stealth, it would take me, like, it would, I'd probably be three hours ahead of this. But I'm terrible. I'm terrible. This is HQ.
Use what? Use all nothing. Shit, shit. Who's that? Uh, that is that is correct, Muffin. And uh, I'm actually about to get my ass kicked kicked here. So there's that. Truth is, I don't know where I'm going. We could pretend all day long, but I'm lost. And now there's dogs. I hate dogs. I'm sorry, pup. Don't close the door on me yet. I'm sorry, puppy. I'm so sorry. Really? I'm just thankful that the AI can't see back here. It knows where I am. It's gonna throw a grenade. Oh my god, it's reloading. But I can't see back here. Because I'm so out of ammo. So 
Where am I supposed to go? It's to my left, so. Over there, I guess. Can't get under. Okay, I was gonna say that that screws me. Is that the puppy? Oh no, that's. I find this kind of clever that they still limp. Shit. Oh. Snake, you're already in the sewers? Eva, yeah, I just got down here. Hmm. I'm coming to meet you now. You're already in the sewers. Open, it only right? took about 25 bullets. Snake? Let me guess. In There's me. a problem. Yeah. What is it this time? The colonel found out you escaped. He did, huh? I figured as much. I made a lot yeah. of noise. And now all of Grozny Grad is on red alert. Just my luck. But once I'm out of the fortress... You can't get out. I can't? When the fortress went on red alert, they sealed off the sewers. You've got to be kidding me. I'm serious. And that means the escape route I laid out is... It's sealed off, too. Right. And they just sent a unit out looking for you. Down here? Uh-huh. They'll be there any minute now. You've got to get out quick. But isn't the exit sealed off? You should be able to get out by heading straight north. Book it, Snake. If they find you, you're dead. Straight north. Straight north. Seems like there's only one direction. Oh, I don't have a backpack.
Quiet, pupper. I grenaded one of you already. You haunt me forever. But I may as well do it again if I have to. Why are you following me? not how I want to die. Thank you. Nope. Nope. We've been over this. Oh my god, I'm gonna... A dog is gonna kill me. Thank you. Sometimes, some crimes go slipping through the cracks. And she said straight north, but she didn't tell me there'd be a fucking labyrinth between me and the... Music is getting intense. Oh, that was a lot of dogs. I've been waiting for this. Nobody interfere.
those whose lives you have ended. Will I, though? Will I? Because, um... I was going to cheat. I have a cat between my feet who's trying to get my attention. He's like, oh my god, I'm hungry. I think I can just drown myself. I think. I think that is a thing I can do. Hey, Pitsy, thanks for the host. The spirit of the warrior. Welcome, sir. It's been a while. We'll always be with you. Don't be sad. We'll meet again someday. time of the night where I start messing up my hair. Cut it out. 
Snake, are you all right? That was a close call. What the hell happened to me? You were halfway drowned at the bottom of the river. Almost crossed over to the other side. Other side? So that really was... Something on your mind, Snake? Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yes, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What kind of man was he? The Sorrow was a man with... Well, special powers. He had ESP, which was the subject of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. Again, with the asking the questions. In other words, he could talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? I don't know the details. Why don't we ask Sigurd? Well, if you just Yo, ask questions, Pitsy, maybe you'd know. I up on this sorrow a guy a while ago. Thought you guys already knew, though. Knew what? That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Salino Yarsk. You know, those cliffs you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss? Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Salino Yarsk. That's he... when she met the sorrow. Assumably is? I don't really know. It seems Cobras like they watch every the move that he war. makes, and that's Except kind of part of the meta. Then what? The boss killed the sorrow herself. And uh, spoilers. Her but, I mean, good God, said. this game came out so, a long time ago. He was never um, there in the first the place. theory is he just couldn't that go up the boss. Metal Gear Solid 3 okay, is actually Snake? the training mission yeah, that I'm they put fine. the guy from Metal Gear Solid 5 through. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole mission is shot. We're counting on you, pal. Roger that. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you all right? Yeah. I took a pretty freaky detour. What are you talking about? Nothing. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. But how did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? You're out of control. <laughs> yeah. I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. What do you mean, that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. A waterfall, huh? Right. Behind that waterfall, there's a cave. We'll meet in there. Uh, the no, I don't think that's lore, officially, but Got it. unofficially, yeah, Stay that there. seems to be exactly what they were after. A waterfall. I swear, I... My backpack is gone because it was a tree. No. It's a, um, it's a toy. I don't know much beyond that. It's just a toy. Makes an adorable noise that I kind of want to make myself on ringtone. You say you're using a single action army. The single action army was first manufactured in 1873. It's been in production ever since then, except for a short hiatus. People started calling it the Single Action Army after the Army adopted it as their official sidearm in 1875. It's also sometimes called the Peacemaker, owing to the fact that a lot of sheriffs used it to keep law and order in the Old West. There are a lot of different models. The one you've got is probably the Black Powder model. The Single Action Army uses 45 long Colt rounds. It's powerful enough to fire a 255-grain bullet at an initial velocity of 800 feet per second. 
The muzzle energy is almost 10% higher than the 45 ACP bullets the M1911A1 uses. You want stopping power? You got it. The only thing is, it takes a while to reload. Pattern clothing, face paint, tactical movements. These are the elements of camouflage that will allow you to deceive your enemy. To camouflage yourself, first press the start button to check out the survival viewer. Then select camouflage and you'll see two more options, face and uniform. Choose face to apply. Your field uniform is not. Covering your body is a good start. But a bare face will kill even the best camouflage. If the si Looking the camo for a particular index located one. in the top right corner of the screen tells you if your outfit is getting the job done. The higher the value of this index, the harder it is for the enemy to spot you. Try your best to keep the ca I heard you fought again. Nope. So you've got your uniform and your face paint. But that alone isn't enough to make for good camouflage. Camouflage means I don't know why. Why would you know it was a black man? Aren't you looking complete, at him? You've got to keep a low profile and avoid overt movements. As long as you've got the uniform and face paint working for you're on a solo. Whenever you I don't think we're gonna find it. Keep in mind. Oh well. Crab battle. Nice to meet you, Snake. I'm Tatiana. Here's your equipment. Bah, you could use a towel. So could you. You know what? Here's probably a good place to call it because uh, I gotta go to work tomorrow. But I think I think with confidence I can say we're gonna be finishing this up tomorrow. As long as I don't die, you know, you never know about that kind of stuff. So I don't know why he knew it was black or what that had to do with anything. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Wanna be one of the greatest. Your boy got a long way to go. But what's on your mind, nigga? Say it. Said I'm hearing it all except no. Nah, I don't wanna stop till I'm winning. Nah, I don't wanna quit cause they dissing. People hate when it's different and can't accept change. I just change my attention. I'm switching the lane, getting chips and I'm dipping. Sauce and sauce and dusting that bullshit off. You're off for something else to get it popping. Whoa, never fall cause I'm on the road. I ain't trying to be one of those. Niggas saying what it could have been. I'ma live it how I should have been. Pull up in a murder pen, all black to the fucking tin. T pain, all I do is win. Triple that, no matter what. Nigga, this ain't had enough. Hey, yo, make sense, nigga, add it up. Full 
tank won't gas you up. Hella hits, nigga, batter up. Want the cake and serve the batter up. Hit the show and bring the cash to us. We can be the kind of like a legend. Come to butter to the fucking bread. Don't cooperate with not a fact. Look, I ain't hear a single word you say. Y'all sleep, better shake the bed. Watch the feet till a nigga fed. Hey, fuck it, keep going. Hit the woods and just look dirty and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's just a warm up, no call. Better warm up, cause shit getting cold. Going bro, not again. Never die, no offense. Fuck a fence, hit a wall. Let them in, cause we all got a ball. Not a problem with it, if they got it, I swear I'ma get it. Just give me a call. In my line, if it's false, then you lost. How do you not take those? But y'all niggas fry like potatoes. And the fuck should go that way, no quavo. I know I'ma pop like an ego. In the fake, the same color is mayo. In the flow, gotta stay at the mayo. When I post on the man with the mail, better fuck with the man in the mirror. Look, I understand this shit clear, you don't. Y'all doing nothing except for the most. I got the edge on you all like the coast. I'm about to take it as far as it goes. As far as you want, whole society and more. Never worried, I'm immortal. If you see me, keep it cordial. Fresh and walking through a portal. Guess I'm in a new dimension. Top, do it for the vision. Fucking we in this bitch, yeah, yeah. I'm living, I can't be a failure. Tell them I've been trying to tell you. Bench. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wanna be one of the greatest. Your boy got a long way to go. But what's on your mind, nigga, say it. Said I'm hearing it all except no. Nah, I don't wanna stop till I'm winning. Nah, I don't wanna quit cause they dissing. People hate when it's different and can't accept change. I just change my attention. I'm switching the lane, getting chips and I'm dipping. Sauce and sauce and dusting that bullshit off. You're off for something else to get it popping. Whoa, never fall cause I'm on the road. I ain't trying to be one of those. Niggas saying what it could have been. I'ma live it how I 